Now here is an interesting battle. What we have is a faux webworm. He's fallen into a trap, the web of a house spider. And it's funny because look at the size difference between the faux webworm and this house spider. It's one of the cobweb spiders we have all over the place. It's not native. But he's been coming back and trying to get it, coming back and trying to get it. So he'll bite it, he'll wrap it, he'll bite it, he'll wrap it. And eventually, if this if this thing can't get loose, it will, oh, but it did get loose. Look at that. It's not, not completely. The spider may cut its losses at some point. It may figure this is too big for me to handle. If it can't get close enough to bite because of the hairs, the long hairs of the fall webworm, then he may cut it free and drop it, which is what I think is finally going to happen. I think the spider is going to give up. He's going to say, I can't possibly eat this. It's too dangerous. It's wiggling around too much. The hairs don't let me bite it. That it may cut it free and allow it to, to leave. Or he may just let it drop on its own. But let's see if he cuts it free. There's so many webs he has to cut through that it won't be easy for him. But you see how it wiggles around so much that will make it dangerous for the spider. But it looks like we'll have to end there. And ah, there he goes. He can cut free. The spider's going to loosen the top corner. And yes, the caterpillar should gain a foothold and be free. Interesting. It's amazing what sometimes spiders will tackle. But this one was successfully freed.